What's the uh, style of combat in this game? The style of combat's going to be different than other Dead Islands. Uh, you nail, you nail the nail on the head there. Uh, starting out with this game, uh, you're not you're not a military focused guy. You have no military training, and uh, you have no weapons when you start out the game. So when you first encounter zombies, you have to take a very stealthy tactical approach. If you encounter them and engage them, you'll immediately be killed. Um, well, another difference is your character in this game isn't immune to the zombie virus. So if you get hit a couple of times, you'll be dead and you'll have to start back over. So the way that uh, combat plays out is it starts out very tactically and stealthy. And then once you start gaining some key items, you'll slowly get more uh, advanced weaponry and then you'll be able to take out some zombies head on. Uh, but by no means will you have uh, the gunplay or the really visceral melee combat where you can charge into a group of enemies like other Dead Islands. What platforms is uh, Escape Dead Island coming to and when can we expect it? Escape Dead Island is going to launch on PS3, Xbox 360, and digital PC. It'll be a box retail for consoles at $39.99. And gamers can uh, be excited to play the game in fall of 2014. So why did you guys decide to go with a lower price point? Is it because it's only going to be digital? Well, you said it's going to be box. So is it less of a game or? Yeah, thirty nine ninety nine was a, it was a really a marketing decision for us. Um, we we're very self-aware of what this product is. Uh, it's two years in, it's the second holiday for next gen consoles and it's coming to previous generation. It's a single player experience where uh, people, sometimes people, that's a mark against it. But this is a really strong game and a strong category, and we want to expand this universe. And it's a it's a full-fledged title, about 15 to 18 hours worth of content. So by no means is the price point a knock against what you players can expect of this game. This is a full-fledged product, and we're really excited to deliver it to consumers. Other Dead Island games have been really open world. Can we experience the same large maps and openness, or is it going to be slightly different? The map in Escape Dead Island is going to be slightly different. You still have that uh, open world to an extent, but it's going to be relegated to um, you getting key items in your inventory. So we're describing it internally as sort of a 3D Metroidvania. So once you start out, you'll have a limited area that you can explore. And once you develop and acquire some of these key items, like a screwdriver, a rope, a grappling hook, a flash, like gas mask, there's tons of items, and each of them expand new areas around the map. So by the end of it, you'll have this huge, expansive uh, open island that has all these paths that are inter interconnected, almost like a spider web across the plane of it. Is Deep Silver developing this internally? Uh, Deep Silver's publishing the title, and uh, we have the development house. Uh, it's being developed by Fatshark, who's a really, really good Swedish developer. We're excited to work with them. Uh, they've done previous products, uh, Lead and Gold, on uh, PSN and Steam. They've done uh, Bionic Commander Rearm 2, and they've really taken a liking to this IP and added their own signature to it. So I think you guys will be really excited to see what comes from them.